I'm Daniel. I'm Jay-Z. And this is Just My DIY. You know, ever since we learned how to make our own wax seal stamps, we really wanted to figure out how to make wax seals work in some of our wedding DIYs. So, of course, we have some of these lovely invitation folders that we wanted to bind in ribbon, and we thought wax would be a great way to set that ribbon. However, it's not as easy as just squeezing a bunch of hot wax on top of the ribbon. You'll end up with a big, gooey, gooey looking mess. So we worked for a long time to figure out how to not have that gooey, gooey looking mess and get you a nice finish on your wax seal stamp. So today what we're going to show you is how to do exactly this, a twisted ribbon with a beautiful wax seal right on top. So let's get it on our invitation folder. <laughs> kick this off by talking about some of the materials you need to do this. And of course we will link everything that we use down below. First and foremost you will need some wax and so we like to use the hot glue gun variety that we can find on Amazon. This just gives us a lot more control and it's super easy to use. We'll let the hot glue gun heat up over on the side while we grab the next thing which is of course your wax seal stamps. We made the one on the right, that J one, uh, and then we have this other one we bought from Amazon, which is the Waves. If you wanna know how to make your own wax seal stamp, we have a video for that, we'll link down below. Next, of course, you will need some silicone or something that will release the wax. We like to use silicone because it's less craft waste and that sort of thing. You can probably use like a parchment paper or something like that, but silicone works beautifully and doesn't create extra waste. You also need some ice and we have ice water in a Ziploc bag that we're of course gonna put on a towel. This helps us cool the wax seal stamps while not getting them wet, which is why we like that particular method. Of course, you'll need a folder and some ribbon and then of course some fabric shears to cut your ribbon. Now before we get to actually sealing the ribbon, we decided it was smart to make the wax seals in advance to get that perfect look. So we're going to use some of those black silicone squares and squeeze about one and a half squeezes of the wax stick out of what is now the hot wax gun. We do put it on a low temperature when there is a choice between temperatures. And that's because if you have the wax too hot, it's going to bubble up and just make your stamps not look that good. So you see we stick the stamp into it and don't press it, just let gravity do the job, pull it off to the side, let it cool. You can use the tip of the gun to maneuver the wax around should you want to position in a little bit better of a circle, or even get a little bit more onto it, <laughs> and then grab your next stamp and do that as well. Now what you're supposed to do is when you peel these off, you're supposed to put them on your ice pack so the metal cools down. You'll see we're not doing that right now, and we're gonna tell you how bad that is. <laughs> Definitely keep those stamps cool, but as you can see that came off of the silicone so easily And so we really really like using that to make these seals in advance We like how these are going and so we're going to keep on going So you see we were just barely putting it ice there and we bring it on over and the metal's still warm <laughs> And so it sits not quite long enough as we start pressing the second one and it gets it's gooey and It's not right. Yeah, but hey Hey, it's not a waste. No, that's because you can reuse these. So put your mistakes off to the side in a little bowl. You can always melt those and just use a spoon to spoon out some uh, wax for your seals. And now, of course, you need to ribbon a seal around your envelope. So here's some, uh, what is this? This is some beautiful ribbon with like a nice uh, frayed edge. We got this on Amazon and we're gonna cut this at an angle to approximately the length that we think we're gonna need. Always better to go a little longer than shorter. We're gonna grab our invitation envelope and we're gonna add a few things on top of it now. We're gonna have a sheet of paper to cover that thing. That's to catch any drips as we're pulling the hot glue gun away, as well as a silicone pad. This comes in use now as well. Now, we're not tying this in a knot or a bow, <laughs> but we don't want that extra bulk, but the wax will actually do the job of holding it in place. So without making it too tight, we're going to apply the wax in a general area where the twisting of the ribbon mm -hmm. happens. And you just saw, we just twisted them at 90 degrees opposite each other. And we're trying to keep this, like Daniel said, as flat as possible. So once we get just enough wax on there that we think is going to hold the ribbon, we're going to pause and let it cool. And we're going to keep our fingers here. We don't want anything to move at this point. 
we're just going to let it do its thing. So not only is this holding the ribbon, but we're also creating a little bit of a flatter surface to help this seal actually secure. Which is what we're adding, this extra little dabble of wax for. Mm -hmm. We apply it, it gets you a real flat surface, you let it cool down just a little bit so it doesn't melt your wax seal stamp. Yeah, that's key. You gotta make sure that you let the wax cool just enough where it doesn't ruin your seal, but not too much that it doesn't make it stick. Now you'll see that we are actually gonna be tucking some of the extra wax wax back underneath the seal. That's because it's still malleable and we can to have a little cleaner of an appearance. Uh, once we think that everything is all set up, we have our cleaner appearance, we're going to eventually pull the green card out from underneath it. After this whole thing cools for a while, we actually had several setups with the silicone pads and the extra piece of paper. So we could do a few at a time, set them aside, and then after five minutes or so, pull everything out nice and neat. You see you finished with a nice clean look, but we're just going to clean up a little bit more by making sure this ribbon is trimmed to a T, so to speak. <laughs> and you can see since we did not have the ribbon too tight, which was our mistake the first few times we were trying to do this, you're able to slide it up and down the invitation. So this is really pretty and still functional. If you make it too tight, no one's going to be able to open these without cutting your ribbon. So want to avoid that, but look at how pretty that is. And these things are secure. Now an extra little tip for you is how to get this into an envelope without screwing everything up. <laughs> that green card that you use to cover it in the first place actually becomes a nice file sleeve. And you use that as you slide it into the envelope to guide the envelope around your folder. Now it's all inside and you're ready to seal it. We did use some glue to have an extra seal on this. These are thicker. You will probably need extra postage depending on how thick your invitations are. So make sure you check these at the post office, but glue and a sticker helped us finish these off. We hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, consider going over to Patreon and supporting us. Just a few dollars a month will help us keep creating great content like this. And you get extras like behind the scenes content, files, and even shout outs on YouTube, depending on what tier you choose. Of course, another great way to support us is just to like the video if you like the video. <laughs> of course, subscribe and ring the bell. And if you leave a comment in the comment line telling us about how great your first waxing experience was, Wax sealing experience, please. <laughs> <laughs> and know that everything that we used to do this is written down in the description. Also in the description links to all of our social handles. Please connect with us across platforms. We love hearing from you. And don't forget to check out our blog at JustMyDIY.com. Thanks for watching.